Hi, we're at IBC 2022 and uh, we're at the Sigma booth and I'm talking to Brian. Hello, Brian. Hey, hello. Uh, and you have some uh, new lenses to show us here. Uh, so what do you have? I got our brand new 65 millimeter. It's a T1.5. It's part of our high speed prime lineup. Um, it does a great job of uh, filling the gap. Before we had a pretty big large gap between a 50 millimeter and an 85. But 65 just really fills that, that spot. Uh, cinematographers have been asking us for a long time, you know, we need a 65 and we finally able to, you know, fulfill that, that, that goal. The 65 millimeter classic is an alternatively coded lens for us. So what it does is there's less contrast, there's more flare, um, it's a warmer lens. It kind of gives you a vintage look and a modern optic. And that's part of our whole series of lineup. So every lens we make in our regular lineup, we do make in a classic. Um, just starting at IBC, we were going to start selling these individually before they were just available on a set. Okay, and in terms of uh, the mounts are the same as the rest of them? So Yeah, so we do a PL, EF, and E mount. Um, PL is the most popular, and then uh, EF and E, are, are, they still sell very well, but, um, you know, a lot of people want that more professional mount. So. Okay, and what was behind the development of these lenses? I'm guessing that people were asking for this type of lens. So for us, so the original lenses are kind of like they came from our hard lineup. So there was a lot of, uh, you know, already very, very good quality glass that we, we took and then made into cinema lenses. So starting with our 40 millimeter here, um, we, in our, we, we designed that, the 40 millimeter from the ground up to be a cinema lens. So it gives you a, a little bit more control of or like your focus breathing and stuff when you're developing from cinema first as opposed to going from still to there. So the 65 follows the, the, the lineage of the 40 and it's a dedicated cinema lens. So it was designed specifically for this. It was not a re some sort yeah, of... There was no compromises made or anything because it, it actually will not be a still version of it. So it would just be a cinema lens so we could focus all, all our efforts in making sure it was the best possible lens we could make. Okay. And in terms of pricing and availability, do you know? Yeah, so they'll be available um, at the beginning of next year. Uh, we don't have a quite quite firm date on that. Um, pricing is uh, about $3,500 in EF and E-mount, and I think $3,900 in PL. So oh, okay. they do, the PLs do come with slash I, so you can get metadata and such if you need that. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a great day.